Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to another pick a card reading. Let's just bring in some vibes, positive vibrations. Exactly. Just be positive, full of positive vibrations today. All right, so welcome to another pick a card reading. And what we're going to be doing, we want to know what do they want to tell you? And these are messages from their higher self to you. Okay. We're going to be using my deck, which this is a prototype really, right? So I just have some changes to do on it and then it's going to be available for purchase. So this is my deck. It's called divine counterparts in separation. So it's for any soul connection, whether twin flame soulmates, um, even karmic situations, right? So what do they want to tell you? So whoever your, your love interest is. So again, we have three piles, blinged out red rose. You guys know I love the brooches. Conservative on the outside, but blinged on the inside. And a blinged out heart that shines bright. <laughs> so just choose your pile and then we're going to get into a reading. So for every reading, we're going to take six cards from here. I'm going to read the storyline to tell you what they want you to know. And then we're going to get a card from this heart and soul deck that was donated by one of our subscribers, Ovia. That's the heart and soul deck. And it's just gorgeous cards. So we're going to get some message from there as well. Okay, so let's get into the reading, guys. Pile number one. And you know, I don't do preset piles. I like it fresh. So let's get six cards. What do they want you to know? Whoa, this person has a lot to say. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay, so what I do, I read the storyline across and then I'm going to read it top down and let's see if we get the same message, okay? Yes, this is a message. My love, I want you to know that even though I am with them, I am thinking about you. I'm thinking about how wonderful you are, how you're very much a high priest or high priestess, full of love, compassion, and the divine energy shines brightly with you. I recognize that there are secrets between us, secrets that we have not talked about, but the biggest secret of all, and what I, what I, what I want you to know is that I love you. I love you. I didn't realize it before. I, d I didn't know, but my intuition has brought me to that place of knowing. I know I love you. I love you. And I want you to know, please, wait on me. Wait on me, please. Wait on me. I'm sorting things out. I am. And I want to bring justice to the situation. Wait on me. Please. I'm going to be fair to you. Now we're going to read it top down and let's see if we get the same message. My love, I'm with them, but I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking about you only. I'm recognizing that you are the light in my darkness. You shine so bright. My intuition is telling me that you are my love. You are my love. 
My intuition has, has opened my eyes to this love. I'm now recognizing that you are my high priestess. You are my divine counterpart. There is no one else for me but you. And I need you to wait on me. Because there are things that I need to wrap up in order to come towards you. But in the meantime, I want you to know I love you. I love you truly, madly, deeply. And I want to be fair to you. I'm going to come in and bring justice to this relationship. I'm sorry for all the secrets. I'm, I'm going to tell you everything. I'm going to tell you everything that is in my heart. That's weighing heavily on my heart. I need to balance off the situation. I love you. And then we're going to get an oracle card from this deck. Okay, for you? Whoa, that was, whoa. Ooh. This is how this person sees you. Whether you're a man or a woman, whether you're masculine or feminine energy, this is how this person sees you. Beautiful, whole, healing, earthy, sensual, follows your heart. And it says, you are entering a deeply emotional time in which you would ponder the deeper spiritual questions of life. Just like this person. This is a time of self-discovery that deepens your connection to Mother Earth, your friends, and your family. At times, your, in, your emotions may overflow, but this is a good thing. For these precious moments bring a great gift of healing. There's going to be a lot, there's going to be a lot of healing in this situation. This person is going to come towards you. They just need to wrap up some things first. They're waiting for the ships to come in, but there's great healing that's going to be had when they finally come and speak their truth. So pile number one, that was you. Let's go with pile number two. What do they want to tell you? The flower of purity and love. What do they want to tell you? Let's get six cards, please. All right. You guys are definitely not in communication. <laughs> All right. I need to read the storyline and the order it appears. And the music that's played during your reading is also um, an additional message, okay? So this one is talking about um, that the divine has big plans. Okay. This here, this here, this here, right, this here. This song is talking about this person's love for you is just 10 times over what you could ever possibly feel for them. All right, let me just give me a just a couple minutes or a couple seconds, really, to get the storyline. All right, this is the storyline. My love, I'm breaking free. I'm finally recognizing that this situation that I was in had me bound had me restricted, had me totally imprisoned, but I'm breaking free. Freedom is near. Freedom is calling me. I'm being divinely guided to do that. I've been receiving the downloads. I'm finally following the guidance that I have been getting from the divine. And what my divine guidance is telling me, I must break free from where I am. I thought that there was plenty fish in the sea. I thought that the grass was green, greener on the other side, but it was all a lie. What I really got was just entrapment. I didn't catch a fish. I caught an octopus that held me in their grasp and wouldn't let me go. But I am breaking free. Never doubt it. I am breaking free because I recognize now that what I need to do and what I'm ready to do is to take a chance. To take a leap of faith on all connection. I might be a little delayed because there are drastic changes happening in my life right now. But it's changes for the better. It's changes that will allow me the freedom to come towards you. Do you know why? Because destiny is calling me. You are calling me. Destiny is calling. And I must answer. And that's why I'm breaking free. I have to come towards you. Okay. 
So let's now read it top down. And let's see if we get a different message, guys. <laughs> I am breaking free. I'm finding the strength. 4-4 four, four, adds up to 8. I'm finding the spiritual strength to break free from where I am. I know that I must take a leap of faith on this connection. It is just so strong. It is just so powerful. I don't give a fuck where I land. Once I land in your arms, I am being divinely guided to do this. I have looked within and I'm finally following my inner guidance. I might be delayed because there are drastic changes happening in my life. The foundation that I've built is now coming down, but I don't care. I'm glad because it's going to get rid of this toxic situation that I found myself in. I thought the grass was green on the other side. I thought they had more fish in the sea, but what I really caught was an octopus that entrapped me. I've been trying to find my way out ever since, but I'm breaking free. Because destiny is calling. My destiny in love is calling. And I am going to answer. So let's get an oracle card, please. For pile number two. Let's get an oracle card. These cards are a little hard to shuffle. But I can do it. Because I'm a master shuffler. Well, not really. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have. Ew, this looks like, I don't know, it looks like third eye opening. I don't know why I'm thinking that. So it says, all is possible when your heartfelt vision is in alignment with your values. Believe in your dream. Love it. Breathe it. And let it fill your thoughts. But you must take action also. Work towards it a little each day until it becomes your primary action. Dreams are first envisioned. But then they must be built. You will succeed if you work hard at it. And I think this is what this person is doing. They are working hard at coming towards you. I truly believe that they're in another situation. It really does seem like that. Right? They're in another situation. And they're just wrapping it up and trying to come towards you. So never fear. They're working on it. Okay? So that was pile number two. Oh, what great messages we are getting today. And our last is our blingy little heart. Uh, lick it, bring your little heart. Let's see. What's the message today? Remember, we're going to read it across and then top down, okay? Right, so this is my divine counterpart and separation deck. It's my baby. I feel so proud of myself, actually. All right, so let's see. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> okay, pile number three. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Okay, let's see. So the, you're here. You are here. You are here. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to get one more card, okay? This reading might be a little rough. It might be a little rough, guys. <laughs> One more card. All right, let's see what... Let's see. It's beginning rough. Let's see if it turns out... Ah, oh, yes. All right, this is beautiful. It ends well. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me get a complete story and I think I know it. So it's saying I'm torn. This is what I'm telling you. I'm torn. I am torn between two. I'm torn between two. I wish that I could be with you. I know that you are the right choice, but there's an obligation that I feel here. There's a commitment that I feel here that I don't find it easy to walk away from. My heart is torn. My mind is torn. Where do I go? Who do I choose? 
do I choose du do I choose duty or do I choose love do I choose duty or do I choose love I want to tell you everything but the time is not right and I'm waiting on the right time to be transparent with you I want to tell you everything I want to tell you that the third party knows about you they know about you I've not been able to hide my feelings very well they know about you I think they know about you because they've seen the change in me I've been going through my dark night of the soul I've been kind of reclusive because I really need to think about everything and see where my path forward lies. But don't worry, my love. I am going to get the spiritual strength to come towards you. I am. Never fear. I'm working my way towards you, but right now I am torn in two. All right, let's see if we get the same message top down. Okay. I'm torn between both of you. I am torn. I know my you are my love. I do know you are my love. But there's an I feel stuck. I feel stuck where I am. There's just so much investment here. I feel absolutely stuck. And I want you to know Ikes. I don't know how they found out, but I think my emotions are on my sleeve. The third party knows about you. They know. They know about you. I w and they know that I wish I could be with you. They know my emotions are on my sleeve. They know, they know, they can feel it. Because I've been going through the dark night of my soul. And this withdrawal has clued them in. They know. They know about you. They know my feelings. I'm waiting for the right time to be transparent with you, but that right time is not now. I have to sort myself out. I have to f become whole again. I have to become whole again. The time is just not right. I am just the shadow of the person that I was. But I'm going to find a strength. I'm going to find a strength to come towards you. Please, just give me time. Okay. So let's get an oracle card and then we're going to wrap up this pick a card, okay? I'm really loving the messages that are coming out today. Three is a little rough, but you know what? It's hopeful. It's hopeful. All right, let's get a card from here, guys. Yeah, I'll take this one. I'll take this one. All right, let's see. Let's see what's... Oh, this is a gorgeous card. It's gorgeous. Within each of us, there is a masculine and feminine aspect. And in order to have perfect harmony, these two aspects should be equally balanced. When our masculine, positive, and judgmental side is equally balanced with our feminine, negative, and compassionate side, then we are in perfect alignment with our true nature. To achieve this balance, we must embrace, love, and value both the positive and negative sides of our nature. And I think this is what's happening with this person they're in love one partner represents their positive aspect the other partner a negative aspect i'm getting a kind of you know a karmic relationship and a soulmate relationship and they're really trying to find balance and really trying to find out who they are and when they do they are going to come towards you but right now this person has a lot of work to do they need to balance themselves off you don't want this person to be coming to you towards you prematurely because that is only going to cause more confusion. Allow this person time to balance themselves off and to really find out who they are. Okay, guys? Well, I hope that you enjoy this reading. I certainly enjoyed doing it. Really powerful messages today. And thank you so much. Okay, bye.